Hello friends, welcome to Environmental Science, Unit 2 Ecosystems. Under Ecosystems, in this video, we are going to see about the concept of an ecosystem, structure and the function of an ecosystem, producers, consumers and decomposers. Next, concept of an ecosystem. Here, an ecosystem is a region with a specific and recognizable landscape forms such as the forest, grassland, desert, wetland or coastal areas. The nature of the ecosystem is based on its geographical features such as the hills, mountains, plains, rivers, lakes, coastal areas or islands. It is also controlled by the climatic conditions prevailing in that area such as the amount of sunlight, the temperature and the rainfall in that particular region. The living parts of an ecosystem is referred as its biotic components and the non-living part as the abiotic components. All the living organisms in an area live in communities of plants and animals. All the plants and animals are live in a community. And these plants and animals are the living organisms interact with the non-living environment of the ecosystem. Next, biotic and abiotic factors. Here, the biotic factors include the plants, animals and microbes and the abiotic factors. The abiotic factors include the basic inorganic elements and compounds such as water, carbon dioxide, calcium and oxygen, carbonates and phosphates. Then, the soil, rainfall, temperature of the region, moisture, winds and solar radiation constitute the abiotic factors. A definition of ecosystem. A. G. Tansley defined the ecosystem as the system resulting from the integrations of all the living and non-living factors of the environment. So it is referred as the non-living and living organisms of the environment constitute the ecosystem. The living community of plants and animals in any area together with the non-living components of the environment such as the soil, air, and water constitute the ecosystem. A structure and function of an ecosystem. Here, the structural aspects of an ecosystem include the organic components such as carbon, nitrogen, carbon dioxide, and H2O water. Second, the organic components such as the protein, carbohydrates, lipids, which link the abiotic factors to the biotic factors. Then, the climatic regimes such as the temperature, moisture, light and topography and producers. Plants are the producers here and then macro consumers are the phagotropes, example the large animals and micro consumers such as the saprotropes and absorbers, example fungi. Next one, the functional aspects of an ecosystem include the energy cycles, food chains and diversity. That is the interlinkages between organisms and nutrient cycles such as the biogeochemical cycles and then evolution. Producers. Plants are the producers in the ecosystem as they manufacture their own food by using the energy from the sun. Hence they are called as producers. In the forest for example, plant communities are the producers and the uh, next one the sea. In the sea, the producers include the tiny algal forms to large seaweeds and then the plants are the food for herbivorous animals. In the ecosystem, the plants become the food for the herbivorous animals and the herbivorous animals are the food for carnivorous animals in the next level and thus there are different tropic levels or the energy levels in the ecosystem and some organisms such as fungi live only on the dead material and inorganic matter. Consumers. The organisms which live on the producers are called consumers. That is, those organisms which eat the plants are called the consumers. Here, the herbivorous animals are the primary consumers as uh, they live on the producers. They eat, on, eat the plants. And for example, in a forest, the consumers are the insects amphibia, reptiles, birds and mammals. For example, the rabbit, deer and elephants that live on the plant life are called the primary consumers. Here, 
they eat the grass and leaves of trees the next grasslands for example in grasslands there are herbivores such as the black bug that is a kind of deer the black bugs uh, are feed on the grass and they are called the primary consumers then at the high tropic level there are carnivorous animals or the secondary consumers the secondary consumers live on the herbivorous animals that is the primary consumers in our forest the carnivorous animals are for example the tigers leopards jackals foxes and small wild cats decomposers are detritivores the decomposers are a group of organisms consisting of small animals like the worms insects bacteria and fungi the one thing you have to note here is all plants and animals have to die one day and to decompose hence the decomposers break down the dead organic material into smaller particles and then finally into a simpler substances so that the, these simpler substances can be used by plants as nutrition then the decomposition thus is a vital function in the nature because without decomposition all the nutrients would be tied up in the dead matter and no life would be produced so far in this video under ecosystems we have seen the concept of an ecosystem structure and function of an ecosystem producers consumers and decomposers thank you